Attention all ghosts. Attention all ghosts. Prepare for Operation Scare. Power to planes. Begin takeoffs. Asper, your orders were to go out and scare people. If you please, sir, I don't like to scare people. I want to be friendly. Friendly? That's insubordination. You're guilty of conduct unbecoming a ghost. I'm stripping you of your wings. And here's your dishonorable discharge. <laughs> looking fella. Hello, mister. My name is Casper. Ah! 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 Gosh! If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Gentlemen, I now give you the ghost of the town, Casper. Friendly ghost. If this keeps up, people will never be afraid of us. I've got an idea. Let's pull a scare attack on the television studio. Yeah, yeah. That'll fix Casper. <laughs> As 
mayor of this great metropolis, I am honored to present you with the key to the city. Thank you, sir. A skeleton key. <laughs> Exactly what he did. Huh? We'll exercise. We'll become powerful ourselves. Excuse me, powerhouse, while I go and see what the ghostly tree are up to. I'll be right back. Touch the ground without bending your knees, fatso. Oh, I don't see what difference it makes. Now for some weightlifting. Grab some logs. What? When we're all tired out from calisthenics? We've got to get as powerful as Casper. All right, all right. Hey, fellas, look. I can lift this big log real easy. I've become strong. Why, it's just a hollow, dried-out old log. Wise guy. <laughs> Casper, you're back to your normal, miserable size again. <gasps> oh, well, you see, I I've learned to reduce or grow at will. But I'm still very powerful, so don't get funny with me. Yeah? Well, grow powerful right now. Uh, uh, uh first I have to get a running start. Oh, we think you're kidding us. Oh, no, I I'm not. Let me take care of this. Convinced? Ow, uh, we're convinced. Well, Casper, it was nice visiting with you, but I've got to be leaving now. Golly, so soon. I'm sure glad you came, Powerhouse. You keep exercising, and you'll really get big and strong. I sure will. Goodbye, Cousin Powerhouse. So long, Casper. Uh-oh. Fatso's been listening. He must know how we fooled him. Wait till the guys hear this. Where you been, you loafer? We've been exercising like crazy. Let's throw him in the lake. Wait, let me explain. Casper's a fake. What did you say? Casper had a powerful cousin visiting him. So, Dad said. Are you sure, Fatso? I saw both of them. Then that powerful guy took off and left. Left, huh? <laughs> then that leaves Casper to us. To think of something to make them think I can grow big. But what can I do? That's 
it. My paints. I'll have to hurry. They'll be coming home soon, and they'll be real mad. Now that we're mad enough, we'll scare the living daylights out of that Casper. Uh-oh, I hear them coming. I hope my scheme works. Now, he's bigger than ever. I sure am. Would you like to make something of it? <laughs> uh, please don't hurt us, Casper. <laughs> we didn't mean nothing. <laughs> they thought I was standing in front of the real house instead of this cut-out painting I made. And to top it off, the exercising I did really developed a muscle. trying to be friendly. <laughs> Gee whiz, that dog sure was scared of me. with me. myself and try to catch you. Thank <laughs> you. 
a flash, he was off again. But this time, he was happy because he had just made a new friend. Casper and that Wendy sure make a gruesome twosome. But I must get home to start the witch's brew. See you later, Wendy dear. We gonna get Casper away from that Wendy's good influence. Yeah. <laughs> it's a witch coil that looks like Wendy. Excuse us, uh, we're nice ghosts and we'd like a wine with you. Nice ghosts? Bah! You mean you're a mean little witch coil? That's right, pale puss. They don't call me Wildcat for nothing. Look, Wildcat, just listen to this. <laughs> that sounds like frightful fun. I dyed your outfit red just like Wendy's. Good. I'm dyeing my hair to blonde. Oh, Casper, see who's at the door. Why, Wendy, what are you doing here? I just got lonely without you. But I thought you had to make the witch's brew. I hate flowers. Why, Wendy, you never did anything like this before. Before, I was nice and sweet. Bah! I'll plant this back in the ground again. <laughs> you sure look surprised. I, I sure am. Well, I'm tired of being good. That was a real nice story that Casper read to me. Wendy, is that brew ready? Coming up. What are you trying to do, poisonous? Gosh, while thinking of Casper, I used the wrong ingredients for the brew. Sweet peas and sugar plums. It's all the fault of that goody-goody Casper, that's what. Speaking of spooks, that one reminds me of Casper. Hold on, short sheet. Look at the frightful furies calling me names. Now, if Wendy had a ghost friend like that, <laughs> I'll bet she'd soon be mean like us. And with a little magic, we can make you look like Casper's twin. Sure, I'll change Wendy into a mean witch. Casper, Casper, change into the image of Casper. I'll see who's at the door. Why, it's Casper. Oh, how nice. Uh, you can go out and play, Wendy. Golly, Casper, aren't you afraid to come here? You know how the witches feel about you. Well, I've decided to be as mean as they are. Now look what you've done. Oh. I just don't understand what's happened to Wendy. Casper has just got to be all right today. I'm awfully sorry, Wendy. It was really all my fault, Casper. Why, you sound just like my old Wendy. And you're just like my old Casper. <laughs> today, I'll give Casper loveless lesson number two. If, if you're Wendy, then who was that? And if you're Casper, then who's that? Here's where I give that Wendy another tough time. Hello, Casper. Well, have you decided to be a ghoul or a good boy today? Why, a ghoul boy, of course. What else? Come on, Wendy. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why, you phony phantom. No girl can talk to me like that and get away with it. <laughs> Wendy, stop! Stop! Uh-oh, you're the... Yes, we're the real Casper and Wendy. And who are you both? I'm Wildcat. The ghostly trio wanted me to make Casper mean like they are. And the witches made me look like you, Casper, so that I could make Wendy as tough as I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say, don't you two hate us now? Why, of course not. We just feel sorry for you, that's all. But that doesn't make sense. Well, it does if you knew how much fun Wendy and I have by just being good. We'll never know unless we give it a try. That's right. Hey, guys, do you see what I see? Hey, girls, do you see what I see? You 
crazy skysweepers. Why don't you watch where you're going? Why don't you whitewash spooks watch where you're going? Just like grown-ups, fighting all the time, you'd think they would know better. Radio singer wanted for ghost to ghost hookup. Ghostess is wanted for nightclub. Ghostmaster wanted to spook at banquets. Gee, I hope there's a job for me. Pardon me, my name is Casper. Do you have a job for a friendly ghost? A friendly ghost? <laughs> A friendly ghost. <laughs> Gosh, I'll find me a friend somewhere else. Come on, Paul Chop. Let's have that old cave ball. Hiya, felon. Can I pray with you? Huh? Can I? It's Skunky. Fully. Scram.
gave it to us. But why? He said he was tired of it. I can't believe that. Ah, oh, come on. Hop in and take a ride. I just hope you fellas didn't do anything wrong. What a worry, Ward. We'll go find a guy. There he is now. He said his name is Big Bill. You mean you took this car from that poor man? Poor? Uh, he's a billionaire. Pardon me, sir. Are you really a billionaire? Gee, that's rich. First three guys dressed in a sheet, and now a kid in a pillowcase. Did you give them that beautiful car? <laughs> of course. Everybody knows I love to laugh. These clowns dressed up for me and gave me a laugh, so I gave them the car. Ha! Uh, you see, Casper? Well, look here, kid. Big Bill doesn't laugh twice at the same joke. That sheet and pillowcase gag is beginning to bore me. Get lost. <laughs> he thinks you're clowns dressed in sheets. Is that so? Listen, Mike, do you know what we are? Ghosts. G ghosts Yeah! Boom! Oh, don't. He's been so nice to you. See, that was wonderful. That gave me goosebumps. It's the least bored I've been all day. You're hired. From now on, you follow me around and scare me when I get bored. <laughs> Nothing works twice on me. Now you bore me. You're all fired. Here, buy yourselves an automatic clothes washer. Is there anything I can do to help you? <laughs> you help me? I'm a billionaire. Well, I could try. What do you ghosts do for fun? Well, most ghosts scare people, but I... That's an idea. Let's go scare people. But, but I'm a friendly ghost. Hey, Mac. Boo! Please don't be afraid. A ghost! Yes! Good going, pal. You make it look easy. I'll try one of my own. Boo! Boo yourself. <laughs> You're not really a ghost, you know. Hey, look! A witch on a broom! It's Greedy Gertie, the Wicked Witch. You call, sir? Listen, Mom, you can have this thousand bucks for a ride on your broom. Anything for money. Hop aboard. Big Bill, don't. Hey, this is fun. Big Bill, don't get in her evil clutches. Tell you what, Gert, I'll give you a million dollars for this broom. Where would you get a million dollars? I have a green thumb when it comes to money. All I have to do is snap my fingers. Abracadabra. Hey, you want to be my husband? No, no, no. I'll give you two million dollars to forget the whole thing. Two million? Imagine! Hey! But wouldn't that be silly? As your wife, I'll be much, much richer. Help! Casper, help! Let him go! Casper, you stay out of this. One peep out of you, and I'll take away your ghostly powers. Don't listen to her, Casper. I'll buy you a million white sheets. Not with our money, you won't. How do you like our honeymoon cottage, sweetie? Casper! Golly, without my ghostly power, I could never help him. Don't go away! <laughs> I mustn't let her see me. I thought I'd never be a giggling bride. Hello, Mother. I've hooked a man. And boy, is he loaded. The wedding will be tomorrow. Yes, I'll be wearing a long black gown with a 50-foot train of cobwebs. <laughs> Big Bill, what are you doing? Making money to buy my way out of this. Money got you into this mess, remember? That's right. If you keep making money, you'll be Greedy Gertie's prisoner forever. What'll I do? I'll think of something. I wish I could get out like that. Try digging at these crumbly stones. Hey, I never thought of that. How can I help? Was it, Casper? I'm coming through. It's the North Wind. Are you in a hurry, Mr. Wind? No, Casper. I'm ahead of schedule. Why? Would you help me save my friend from Greedy Gertie? Why, sure. What can I do? She at the wedding, Mother. Her brooms. 
she'll be a hundred years chasing that money. I'll buy you anything you want, Casper. Just name it. All I want is your friendship. Ooh. <laughs>